Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you what the difference is between tweening and frame by frame. In other words, animating using tweening and animating using frame by frame animation. So let's get started. In this scene, the only thing I've done, this is a brand new scene, but the only thing I've done is I've created a couple of materials um, just because I'm going to draw in, in blue, green, and red. And so just to see the difference between the elements. All right, cool. The very first thing I want to do is create different objects. Right now, we, have, we only have one stroke object. And usually when you're drawing something frame by frame, that's all you need. You can draw the frames within this stroke object. But since we're going to do tweening, and I'm going to show you how to tween an object, we're going to need to create a couple more uh, objects. So I'm going to go to object mode. To create another object, simply go to add, grease pencil, stroke. Here we go. We created another stroke object. And this is the default little stroke. To get rid of it, I just need to go to edit mode, select the stroke, and hit uh, delete. Boom, there it is. So we've got one, the original one, and the one I created. I'm going to create another one, go to object mode, and then hit add, grease pencil, stroke. Here's another one. Again, I'm going to go to edit mode, select it, and hit the delete key. Boom. We've got three different objects. Stroke, grease, pencil, stroke objects. Here, here, and here. This is the original, and these are the two that I created. The original, let's call it frame by frame, frame, draw. Because we're going to draw frame by frame. The second one, I'd like to call this one tween, edit. We're going to edit. We're going to um, animate using tween in the edit mode. And then the last one, let's use tween object. And we're going to tween, we're going to animate the object. So while we are in this one, tween object, we are in edit mode. We can select this tween object. And let's create, let's draw a circle. This is just a little circle, a ball. We're going to use the blue material. We're going to be at about maybe 40 uh, pixels wide. And with a strength of one. All right, let's draw a little simple ball. I'm here in the tween object. I'm using the blue and I'm using the draw. So here it is, return. So if I select this, go to object mode, this is this one, tween object. If I turn it off, it turns on and off. Awesome. Now, let's go to tween edit. I'm going to turn it back on just to see. Tween edit. I'm in object mode. Let's go to draw mode. I am going to go to maybe the green one, radius of 40, strength of 1, and I'm going to draw another ball. I'm going to hold down the shift right about, uh, right about there. Return. So this is in the tween edit. Uh, and go back to object mode. and then select the last object. Frame draw. This is my frame by frame drawing. And if I, here we go, I have it. I'm going to go to draw mode. And I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to use the red with 40 and, all right, cool. We're good. I'm going to hold the shift. And there's the last. Uh, ball. I'm going to hit return to accept that. And here we go. We've got this object, the frame draw. We've got this object, 
between object. So the reason I did an object, it's the easiest one, but I'm gonna go to object mode again. If I select this object, I need to turn on the timeline so we can see the keyframes. When you're animating objects, you need to see the timeline so we can see the keyframes. I'm gonna push this one up. This is not a timeline. This is a dope sheet. You can see that this is a dope sheet. The timeline is hidden right here. I'm gonna push it up. And this is a timeline. I'm gonna open up the uh, uh, the summary so just they, they can look the same. But this is the actual timeline. So um, one more thing that we're going to fix is the center point. For this whole object, the center point is at the center. That means that this circle has a center point right there. And when you go to rotate this object, it rotates from this center point. Um, and it also moves from this center point. And so what, what I want to do is make sure that this center point is at the center. And I can't just move the center point. I have to move the object. So let's go to edit mode. I'm going to select this stroke and move it to the center. There we go. Now when I go to object mode, I can just simply take that back and then place it in our starting line. So uh, on this one, guys, it doesn't really matter. The object will move inside, within, inside the object. So it doesn't really matter about the center point. Either here also, it doesn't matter because we're going to draw inside the whole object. The object is not moving. The only one, the only object that moves will be this one because we're going between the whole object. So I am on this timeline. I am going to turn on auto keyframe. And in order for me to have a keyframe on frame one, I just have to move it a little bit. And then boom, there's my keyframe. I'm gonna just make a quick little animation to frame 20. On frame 20, I'm gonna move it to the other side of the screen. And we have our other keyframe. Let me end the timeline at frame 20. And we have our keyframe at frame 20. If I hit play, this is already animated. I didn't have to do anything. I did not have to do anything but turn on auto keyframe. So I had a keyframe at frame one. I went to frame 20 and I moved it. It automatically created a keyframe and it's already tweened. So we didn't create any of these frames in between. It automatically did it for us. So that was easy. That's tweening guys. Um, again, we didn't create any of the keyframes in between 1 and 20. The computer did that for us. Now for the second option. We're going to go to Tween Edit. We're not going to animate using the auto keyframe. We're not going to use it. We're going to use the Edit, edit feature. That means we're going to get inside the object this we're inside the object I am going to select the stroke the actual stroke and then I am going to move it and create so right now the line has a keyframe I'm in the dope sheet again uh, I am going to go to frame 20 and then I'm going to move this stroke over notice that the object is not moving the object is not moving there. There's a center point for the object. I am moving the stroke within the object. So this is already at frame 20. Why doesn't it animate? It, it just goes from frame one to frame 20. And none of the keyframes in between are animated. It just goes from frame one to 20. 
It just jumps there. So we need to interpolate the keyframes inside. So all you have to do for that, have it selected and be inside the two keyframes and go to interpolate sequence. This will interpolate the entire sequence. The other one, interpolate, will only interpret that one frame at frame 11. So we want to interpolate the whole sequence. Click. And what it does, it creates all the keyframes in between. Check that out. So if I hit play, now my object is being animated and my edit is being animated. So that's kind of cool. You can, you can animate individual strokes within an object. And this is the entire object being animated up here. So the last one is the frame by frame. And you guys know how to do frame by frame. I've got several videos explaining that, but I'm going to do it right here. Uh, and the best way I know how to do it, I'm going to go to draw mode. Here it is, um, frame by frame, draw mode. And so here I am on frame 20. I'm going to try to draw this about where it is, right about there. Hit return. You notice that this one goes gray because we have we have onion skinning turned on. So that's our frame one. That's our frame 20. And same as the other one. This one disappears. So I'm going to go to frame 10 and, and draw another one right about there. Boom, right there, enter. And this technique is called pose to pose because this is a keyframe, this is a keyframe, pose to pose. And I'm going to go to about frame five and I'm gonna draw one right in the middle, right about there, return 15, right in the middle, return. And then one in between those at frame three. Here. Let me move that over a bit. Frame seven. Right about. there frame 11 12 right about there i'm trying to go uh, every other frame but this since i already drew something on 15 i'm just going to go to 17 and the last one right about there. So this is frame by frame. I drew every single frame. And we've got our keyframes here in the dope sheet uh, on frame by frame. So I'm going to turn off the onion skinning. And let's check this out. If I hit play, um, this one's animated, this one's animated, this one's animated. Remember that this one on top, the blue one, has been the whole entire object was animated by using the move tool and creating keyframes with the automatic keyframe. The tween edit, the green one, we animated the stroke object, not the entire object, just the stroke within the object. And then we animated the stroke and used interpolation. And the frame by frame, of course, you guys know when you draw a frame, it automatically creates a keyframe, and there it is. Hey, guys, I hope that this video has been helpful to you. And if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.